Hi baby girls! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, finally, gagawan ko na yung review. Yung review. Gagawan ko na ng review itong Revlon Colorstay Makeup. And ito nakuha ko is for combination to oily skin because that is what we are dealing with right here and acne prone skin as well. Um, matagal na actually itong product na ito and ang dami dami nagre-rave about this foundation it's the best foundation for oily skin. Like nung OG YouTube days pa, ito talaga yung mga paborito na mga YouTubers. So, itry natin kung bonggang bongga ba talaga siya. Alright, so first, siguro ipakita ko muna sa inyo yung packaging. Ayan, very basic na ano lang siya, foundation packaging. Glass bottle siya and yung cap niya is plastic. Plastic. Maganda naman yung packaging niya. In fairness, I have nothing bad to say about it except for clumsy girls like me. Um, mahirap itong mga glass bottle na ite. Kailangan magingat. And basahin natin yung mga nakasulat dito sa bottle. It says here that it has SPF 15, broad spectrum. And I got mine in the shade 150 or buff kasi ito na yung pinaka malapit talaga sa skin tone ko. Binili ko pala to dun sa SM Department Store or sa Watsons. Meron ding mga Revlon. By the way, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, dinry ko ulit itong pag gold gold ko na background. Pero I don't know, feeling ko kukulang pa ako ng lights. Naglagay ako ng lights sa likod ko pero parang hindi naman siya masyadong kita. Parang kailangan mas higher siya pero wala akong higher na table na mapaglalagyan sa kanya or chair. Pero anyway, this bottle contains 1 fluid ounce or 30 ml which is pretty standard para sa mga liquid foundations. And yung regular price nito is 825 pesos as you can see right there. But I actually got this on sale like a while back <laughs> last year for 412.50. So nag ano siya, nag 50% off which matagal na yun. Pero sana mag 50% off ulit sila. Basahin natin yung mga claims sa likod. It says here that it wears for up to 24 hours. Flawless look. Lightweight feel. And, oh, yun lang naman pala. Made in USA and it's good 24 months after opening. Alright, so yun lang naman. Tanggalin natin yung seal. Meron siyang parang plastic thing dito which serves as the seal. I don't know if you will see that. So there we go, natanggal ko na yung seal and when you open it up, you will see that it has a pump. Bonga. Noon, actually, itong Revlon Colorstay, wala siyang pump. Um, Buhos-buhos lang siya, parang yung Maybelline na uh, matte and poreless. Ganun yung style niya, which is so inconvenient, nakakaloka. Kaya, buti na lang, meron na silang pump ngayon. Pasensyahan nyo na pala yung buhok ko. I literally just put it in this ponytail. Hindi ko man lang siya sinuklay, baby girl. So, pasensya na. Maglalagay ako ng alcohol para malinis naman yung mata. Mata! <laughs> yung kamay natin kahit papano. And here's how my face looks like before applying the foundation, by the way. As you can see, marami akong redness from my acne marks or pimple marks. And meron din akong konting breakouts as of the moment. But... Hindi ako naglagay ng primer, nag-moisturizer lang ako para matest talaga natin itong foundation na to. Right, so shake muna natin siya. Medyo thick din naman siya ng konto, hindi siya runny. So as per usual, on one side of my face, I'll be using a brush. And on the other side, I'll be using a sponge. Ayan, so I went ahead and dotted it all over my face. Tapos, let's go ahead and blend it out with a flat top brush. Oh no, it happened again. Yung ano, i-zoom ko nga kayo ng konti. Ayan, nangyari na naman siya, baby girls. Yung pumapasok siya sa pores ko sa ilong. Nakakainis. Bakit ba ganito yung mga foundation? Bakit ba ganito yung ilong ko? Parang nagugutom siya palagi. Kinakain na yung mga foundation. Tsaka, madali lang naman siyang i-apply. Kaya lang, hindi ganun kaganda yung... Aray, aray! Kaya lang, hindi ganun kaganda yung coverage niya sa akin, baby girls. Tignan nyo. Parang light coverage lang yun na bigay niya sa akin. I don't know. Probably it's because of the brush. By the way, ginamit ko yung fan ko kasi ang init-init, baby girls. Kakaloka. Anyway, I'll go ahead and use a sponge on this side. Tapos tignan natin if it will deliver more coverage compared sa brush. Alright, here we go, baby girls. Ito na yung side na ginamitan ko ng sponge. And it looks a lot better compared to the side when I use the brush, ba? Like, from the nose, alone lang. Tignan nyo. Mas maganda tignan itong side na to ng nose ko compared to this side. 
What do you think? Maklaro niyo ba? Same level of coverage lang naman yun na bigay ng brush and ng sponge. Pero I'll go ahead and apply a second layer. This time I'll use the sponge alone. Ayan, here we go. I compare niyo. Ito I applied two layers and on this side isang layer palang. Achieved medium coverage from it. Pero yung finish niya hindi siya ganon kaganda compared sa ibang foundation. Pero Okay na rin. Pero for the price of 825, I don't think I can recommend. For now, hindi ako napawaw sa kanya. But anyway, I'll finish up my entire face. Lalagyan ko rin to ng second layer. And probably, I'll apply a third layer on these really dark hyper pigmentations on my face. And then, babalik ako kapag tapos ko na siyang i-apply. Okay? Medyo maputi pala itong shade na ito sa akin, babagyas. Pero, ayan, nalagay ko na yung foundation on my entire face. I applied two layers. And naglagay ako ng extra layer on my hyperpigmentation. Um, again, medium coverage na yung nabigyan niya sa akin. I don't know if it's because I applied it with a sponge. And hindi niya nagawang super smooth tignan yung face ko. Again, um, pero hindi naman malaswa tignan. Again, you can fix that by using a primer, a pore blurring primer or filling primer kasi medyo malalaki yung pores ko especially dito sa cheeks and sa nose. Kaya kailangan ko talaga ng primer para maging maganda yung mga foundation. Anyway, Okay naman siya para sa akin. Hindi naman siya mabigat. It actually feels pretty light on the face kahit na dalawa, like 2 to 3 layers yung nilagay ko sa face ko. And hindi siya masyadong malagkit sa feeling. Pero kapag hinawakan mo siya, malagkit siya definitely. Anyway, hihintayin ko lang yung foundation na mag-set and then gagawin ko yung the rest of my makeup. I'll also be powdering my face with a non-mattifying powder na walang coverage. Anyway, it's now 4.58 p.m. I know, medyo late na babigyas. Pasensya na, pero late akong nagising and then isipan kong gawin ito, kaya medyo <laughs> late na nagsimula. But, as per usual, I will wear this throughout the entire day for at least 8 hours. Graveyard shift ako, babigyas. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back kapag kailangan ko na mag-update sa ating feds. Hi, Babigail. So, it's now 9.24 p.m. And look at my face. Look at my face. It's been 4 hours and... I still look really fresh. My goodness. Oh. Tapos hindi ako naka aircon kanina nung nagfi-film ako. I filmed three videos and then um hindi ako naka aircon or electric fan so it was really hot. And then nagluto pa ako and yeah. Ganito yung face ko. My gosh. Naputol siya na lubat. Anyway, ayan, here it looks like under I'm in front of my vanity. Ooh. Freshness for in. Bonga. Bonga siya. Kaya lang na accentuate yung aking pores. So. Pero again, I will try to use it with a primer and then tignan natin how it works. Pupasensya na niya po ko. Anyway, mm, yun. I'll be back kapag kailangan ko na mag-update. Hi, baby girls. All right, it's time for my final update. Time now is 1.35 a.m. This has been on my face for 8 hours and 30 minutes. 35 minutes, siguro. Yeah. Anyway, I checked natin yung face natin sa salamin, pero nakikita ko dito sa viewfinder. Fresh na fresh pa rin. <laughs> anyway, tatanggalin ko yung glasses ko. Hindi super lala ng nose pad marks ko sa aking nose, unlike other foundations. Kasi nga, hindi ako masyadong nag-oil up, baby girls. Amazing. Buwangga naman. Kaya lang, medyo nag-cake up yung foundation dito on the sides of my nose. Tignan nyo, oh. Naging cakey. Tapos yung blush ko, andyan pa rin grabe. Kapit na kapit pa rin yung blush ko, guys. Wow. I'm so impressed. Tapos, hindi ko na feel yung foundation sa face ko talaga as in. Um, gusto kong itry na i-block yung konting oil sa aking face. Tingnan natin kung matatanggal ba yung foundation. Medyo sumasama nga yung foundation o sa oil. Hope you can see that. Pero, hindi siya ganun kagrabe. Like, kung ganito lang siya nag-oil up, baby yes. Tapos, wala pa akong primer ni nalagay. Ano na lang kaya kung may primer ako, no? Ang fresh pa rin. Hindi ako makapaniwala na ito yung look ko after 8 hours. I cannot believe it. So, ayan. This is the amount of oil that I got. Medyo marami pa rin naman. Pero, 
hindi siya malaswa tignan sa aking face. Parang yung face ko, hindi siya oily tignan. Parang dewy lang siya, ganun. And freshness pa rin. And kahit ngayon, after ko nag-blot, freshness pa rin, baby girls. Of course, may mga natanggal na coverage sa aking face. Hindi na siya as like medium coverage as kanina. Pero okay na okay pa rin. Pasadong pasado pa rin, baby girls. Siguro mag, ano ka lang, mag retouch ng powder and it would look a-okay. Yun nga lang, naging cakey talaga siya on some areas of my face. Nakakaloka. Especially right here, sa inner part ng cheeks. Tapos, dito sa sides ng nose. I don't know why. Bakit ka naging ganyan foundation? Pero, Tignan natin. Baka masyado kong maraming nilagay na product dyan. Pero, baby girls, I am so freaking impressed. Like, this is one of the best foundations that I have ever tried. Hindi ko pa masabi na mas favorite ko to compared sa aking L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. But definitely, this has better oil control than that. Impressed talaga ako sa kanya. Kahit na 825 pesos to, bibilhin ko to. Super sulit tong foundation na to, baby girls. As in, I'm so impressed, baby girls. Nakakaloka. It feels so lightweight. Okay yung coverage niya. Very easy to blend. Yun nga lang, medyo mahal yun yung con niya. Wala akong ibang maisip na pangit sa kanya. Baby girls. I think we have found the perfect foundation for oily skin to Totoo talaga yung mga sabi ng mga OG YouTubers na this is the best foundation if you have oily skin. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and continue using that. And then, tignan natin ano yung mangyayari. Nakakaloka na. Excited ako kasi nakahanap tayo ng magandang foundation. Tapos nabili ko pa siya on sale. 50% off. So, yun. That is my review for the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Sana nag-enjoy kayo and I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para ma-update ka every time I upload a new video which is every single day. And to help this plump caterpillar but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching baby girls i love you all with all of my chubby heart and i hope to see you in the next vlog tomorrow bye anyway it try naman natin on these really dark pigmentation on these really dark heart and it does look a